Cause I just get happier Okay, here we go with Hoop. It's a song I wrote about uh, Bob Dylan. <laughs> From the post-war of the 60s to the new age point of view. Some call me genius, a metaphorical guru. Born again and bleeding when he broke all the rules. We listen to his music, teaching love to see us through. No matter your religion, take time to walk in Dylan's shoes. Are you a child of the times reaching for the sky? Searching for answers before you die. Our souls are one, I tell you, but they're not the same. You hold the key to fear and love, so how we play the game? I'm asking you. Take time to walk in and shoot. Yes. Where are you going, young man? You're in such a rush. You need not to hurry and you need not to fuss. They're waiting for you up ahead. Just don't cross over their line. That same old, same old song. Well, they're waiting for their sign from above. They need to walk and do and shoot. Ah, oh, sweet and real lovey, where are you now? You took your heart from my soul, the pain I won't allow. So I'm standing on the outside, tripping with the fools. Waiting for a time when there'll be no rules to be with you. Till then I'll walk in Dillage. Yes, I'm walking in Dylan's shoes. Yes, I'm walking. Yes, I'm talking. I'm walking in Dylan's shoes. Woo! All right. Thank you. So, Hoop, come, come close. Come close now. Grab your mic. And um, I think think if I'm not mistaken, let me just come, 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 come close, come close. So, do you yeah, like Bob Dylan? I actually, I really. You <laughs> don't? That terrible? You don't? No, I do. I like Bob Dylan, but I was never into Bob Dylan until, uh, we're gonna... until a few years ago when I just inspired and I, I, was, I was, uh, come close. I was going upstairs. <laughs> This and is I, like I started uh, hearing some music going. in my mind. I'm going like Dylan shoes, Dylan shoes. Oh wow, what a great idea for a song. So, um, you know, I think oh, so. that's not Dylan. That's not Dylan. You know, but technology. Is... I, I found out more about him, so I took the time, and then I wanted to write the song. So I thought, well, there's got to be something written about him. And I go to the library, and there's like a thousand books. Well, you, know? you start pulling this stuff out, and it's just like, no, 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 no. There's too much information. About so Bob quick, Dylan? Yeah, so quickly it was just like uh, post war of the 60s to New Age point of view. Yeah. That's him. But I definitely like your music, man. You know, it's like, you know, the multitasking. I like that. You know, playing, singing, and doing the harmonica. You know, people don't really understand how much that really takes. You know well, what I mean? first you have to be able to walk and chew gum. The there you go. I'm chewing and gum. I, I'm not I walking. I over my feet all the time still. <laughs> so, um, do you have a favorite Dylan song, if there was one? I would have to say Tangled Up in Blue. I like that too. But I also like, um, I can never remember the name of it, but my favorite one is, um, uh, I can't even remember it right now, but that's a good one. It's about like, it's a loved one when, oh man, I used to listen to it all the time too. But it's, so many his titles have a lot of, Tangled Up in Blue is one that he uses the words in the song, yeah. but like a lot of his songs, like of course, like Everybody Must Get Stoned. I mean, I do like that one a lot too. I like that. One. I like that one, but um, the title of that has nothing to do with the song. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. So, um, how long have you been playing music, and where are you from? Uh, about, I've been had my fourth lesson now on guitar. Your fourth lesson. 
I'm very gullible. So. Okay, no, I, I'm from Cleveland. Oh, really? I played at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I was just when, in Ohio. When they were raising money. Mm. Nice. And, uh, yeah, I'm from there. Played. I was just on Route 80. Uh, you know Route 80? Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> That's that route. Anyway, that I'm not supposed on. to talk about how old I am. Oh, well, we're not asking that. Good. Nah. So how's the Rose Steinbrenner um, in, in Ohio? Do they like him in Cleveland? Oh, yeah. I have a, I have a aunt who's uh, was married to him. An aunt that was married yeah. to George Steinbrenner? George Steinbrenner? Oh, sure. so, wait a minute. Wait, get, a close did, up. get a close-up. Get a close-up. Did she go to Tampa? I don't know all about that because the family I have is like, very diverse and you can hear stories. My cousin works for the Yankees oh. and married his secretary. So um, I'm kind mm. of like, yeah, she had, they had to, one of them had to leave their job because you're not allowed to be yeah. married oh, within sure. the team. Yeah, they kept it secret for a long time. But, um, you know, time goes on. And but, you know, you should ask me about the new band I have. Tell me. <laughs> will you please tell me about the new band you have? This just happened by accident, by way of Craigslist. But there are no accidents. But a couple of months ago, I was looking for some fill-ins. I, I played the National Underground a lot. Okay. Now, have you ever uh, met Gavin? Uh, no, I haven't met him. No. But uh, I've been playing there with a gal named Elizabeth Rex. And now she's in Portland, Oregon. So we paid our dues playing in the basement. Oh, we have in the National Underground, right? yeah. And then we were able to get upstairs, but she left. So it was like, I got to play. I always wondered how you get upstairs there. You have to play like three gigs, guarantees. You know? And then, ah. then you ask, and it says, yeah. But uh, so I needed to, I brought some people from Cleveland back to support me. And then I was looking at Craigslist for drummers and stuff. And then uh, the night that we were to play, they were closed because of the health oh. violation. But, so they didn't get a letter A in their window. No, no, but that same night, since there were older guys in their lobby, I don't think they wanted to piss us off. So Chris gets on the phone, calls uh, Fat Baby. Okay. And says, I have these guys here that really need to play. Wow. And they let us play there at 10 o'clock. On Ruby wow. you're back yeah. in the basement. And we got there and played, and everybody liked us. But then one of the guys that traveled, named Alex. These guys are from Serbia, by the way. You're um, a new band. Yeah, new band. Is, well, except for Peter Weiss. He's the bass player. Okay. He also did the Matrix uh, special effects. Wow. So he was That's good. Cool. Did that special stop motion thing. Oh, he's the one who did that. He's the one. So he gets Peter royalties Weiss. for that? I don't know. It's his, it's his thing. So I maybe, hope so. Maybe that's why he doesn't have to just do music. Hey. Good for him. Good for him. I like right, so I'm working with yeah. guys at my age that rock and roll more than I did when I was younger. I mean, that's, a, that's, that's what they live for. Listen, man, music is ageless. So, yeah. As long as you got it in you, as long as you can bring it out that's of you, there's right. never too late and you're never too old. You just keep going because it comes from inside of you. Anything comes from yeah, inside of you is ageless. That's right. So, so when's your next gig? Uh, October 14th, back at the National Underground. Okay, because they got health coded. Oh, they're fine. Correct. They're, they're good. Yeah. yeah. But it is Gavin DeGraw and his brother's venue, I believe. Yeah, that's what I hear, and they're opening up in Nashville, too. Oh, they are. Oh, yeah. Good for them. Good yeah. for them. And I heard of Nashville is in the house today, man. So every much. every single person so far this day has mentioned something about Nashville, except Nisa, but her name starts with an N. That's true. So, so she's on yeah, it right there. Right. So, you know, it works. Exactly. Yeah, so, um, have you been to Nashville? Uh, not yet. I was supposed to go for an inter for a national songwriting. You've thing. never been. No, but I I work with people that have a, it's called a Songwriter Nation, which is for songwriters. It's it's free to join. You're and, kidding. Uh, Songwriter do, Nation is for songwriters. W That's Songwriter weird. Nation. They, they just hook you up with other songwriters, and it's run by uh, what? What's her name? John it's and Cindy. John and Cindy uh, Wendell, and they just started this thing up to in Nashville to reach out to everybody across the United States. And they just put out their first uh, uh, online magazine, which it featured me, because I, I, I sing like 90 Excellent. songs. Excellent. And then everybody's always picking my songs. They have a radio station. So has anyone recorded one of your songs? I've had a few people record. Man. Anyone songs that we might have heard of? Um, like Celine Dion? No, no, not that. Not, well, yes. Actually, back in 70. Um, she did? No, no. But uh, Susan Quattro did. Oh, and I have her birthday. Oh, well, oh, I love Sushi Quattro, Leather Tuscadero. Yes, right. We share a birthday. I'm trying to get her on the show because 
she's good friends with Alan Merrill, who's a very good friend of mine. Do you know Alan Merrill? No, I don't. He wrote I Love Rock and Roll. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he hangs out with uh, Susie Quattro. Oh, no, and there's the other person. Uh, Kirk. 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 Yeah, I know Kirk. Kirk. We he's know. from Cleveland. Kirk. Kirk is our friend, oh, too. Oh, he's there Kirk recording. Great I used to work together. Right. I just uh, saw Kirk. Yeah, and Kirk Street. Alan. Yeah, 30th Street in Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. Look I know this. Kirk from a long time. I love the 10 degrees of separation. Because it's really I got a skeleton about Kirk. Well, I'm sure you do. But let's go back to you right now, Mr. Who. Yeah. How, is Hoop your name? That's actually is short. Are you good at basketball? Like, no, and that's the thing. When I'm using this as the band's name, and you use Hoop, it always goes to basketball stuff. So. Yeah, well, Hoop, you know? know. I mean, we're a dumb nation. Well, I, that's why I was asking people for suggestions. But Hoop is good. Yeah, I like it because it's easy, it's short, and it's short. Yeah. you know, it's it's good. You know, you're a sinker. You sink it right in, Who's right? Care, who cares what they think about the name as long as they give you a chance and take a listen? It's that's good. Right. So, wait, you were just going to say a skeleton from your closet. I did? Yeah. I was? Yeah. Oh, which one was it, Betty? There were a couple we were talking about. Oh, and then I like get me arrested, this. Though, oh. right? No, no, no. We don't want that. That's true. Because I'm real, I'm not the best editor either, and you know sometimes when I edit out somebody's skeleton, I end up only keeping the skeleton, and everything else goes. That's happened. What'd you talk about? Quickly. A good skeleton. A good skeleton. She can have some bread too. I don't know. Part hurts. Do you want to come share it too? Come on up. Come on up. Come on. I uh I don't know. All right. Something that something that your mother didn't know. Oh dear. I know something happened in that at that basement. Well, no, but, uh, well, I used to get high at home. There you go. And, and it was actually my aunt who raised me. And we had a rest home. In Cleveland? In Cleveland. And it was a, it was a house. It was a double. And all the doors had to be uh, fireproof. Okay. So I guess what you could do in your room. And get ah, I like that. Ah. <laughs> you close the door. Fireproof doors. Couldn't get the smoke, you know. Yeah, so we used to get high there and open up the window and walk out. But my aunt being old and, and being around, because she was hanging around in the 30s, she used to uh, actually... Uh, That's the one with, with George Steinberg? No, it was with her sister. Oh, okay. Ah, there you go. So, anyway, she used to run booze for uh, uh, Dutch Schultz. You know, her name was the Duchess, actually. Mm. Uh, but this whole marijuana thing, uh, when she found out I was doing it, she says, That's nothing. Oh, oh that's everybody making a big deal about it. In the 30s, 40s, we did that. And a was good old day. About it. So it's just like... It was cool, but she wanted to keep it. And then Reef for Madness came out. Yeah, well, of course. <laughs> oh, did you ever see that movie? Yes, that's scary. Funny movie, right? Right, yeah. So I guess that's it. I used to keep the door closed and, and actually you know, thought that I was hiding it. But I was yeah, I think, I think that seems to be the case we for all most did. of us. Exactly. Think you're hiding it, but oh well. So would you please have some cinnamon raisin bread? I would bread? love to have some cinnamon. Awesome, because it's really it's amazing. And you know, something I have to get back with you again? Yeah. Because I didn't finish it. But oh, say being it. Being a songwriter, I took the Help. tracks of the song that I wrote, mm -hmm. and I wrote something for you in the show. But okay. I oh, right, right. Who was it? Oh, Susie Quatro. No, no. Someone no, else. This well, is you. something else. No, I wrote something for you. It's called Ruin Who. Ooh. It's about your oh. show. So I'm going to mm. get it to you, and then you can just have fun. We can with play it. with it. Do oh my you gosh, you know. You should be able to put it in pieces if you want. That's to. awesome. Yeah, you know, it sounds good. Yeah, this is not the first. There's the, I'm getting yeah. many people are writing little songs Good. about the show. That's and, what you want. And they're amazing. Oh, I do want. Oh, thank you so much, Who. And I heard your song called Perfect World. Oh, you did. I love it because I'm listening to your work. I wrote a song called Perfect World, a reggae song. Okay. And it was just like listening to what you're talking about. Yes. Mine's sort of. The Maybe same we can do the time. remix. Maybe we can mix them together. Sounds like there need to be some it. collaboration yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we can do that. I would love to. I would love to. And maybe you never know. Maybe we can actually do a song together. What you're doing here is great. I and appreciate I want that. to invite everybody that's checking this lady out to uh, come to the show, donate to keep the show going, and uh, and be a guest. It's yeah. Great. It's great for your own career, I tell you. And hopefully it's going to be good for mine and yes. yours. Yep. And who? What's your website, and how do people find you? You can go to www.hoopsongs.com. Hoopsongs.com. That's, that's and that's how they find you. And it's H-O-O-P. Right. Just like it sounds. That's it. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. And, and same, yeah. take your bread, please. Bread we, we, we like to give bread, yeah. Thanks, Hoops. Keep up the work. Thank you. All right. Oh, good. Yeah, take a piece for Betty.
Yeah. Yeah. All right. There you go. All right. Thank you so much.